Okay, so in these examples, or this first one, it says identify what is wrong. In a USA Today online poll, uh, 728 internet users chose to respond and 41% of them said that their college majors prepared them for their chosen careers very well. Okay, what would you say about that? Is there a problem with this? Okay, all right, so USA Today. Okay, people who go to that particular website, what else? They're choosing to respond. We talked about the self-selected survey. That's probably one of the biggest things with this. Is there a reason why a person may not respond to this type of survey? Okay, they didn't go to college, but what about it? What about people who did go to college? Do you think they all would? Maybe not. I mean, if you feel like it didn't, you might not want to respond to the survey, you know, versus people who um, have really excelled and really feel like, yes, this prepared me. They might say yes. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. On the next one, in the years following the end of World War II, it was found that there was a strong correlation or association between the number of human births and the stork population. It therefore follows that storks cause babies. Correlation, correlation and causation. Very good. There's a correlation, but that does not necessarily indicate a cause. All right. Um, so write that down, however that might come out. Okay, correlation does not indicate that there is a cause. In order to determine cause, what do we have to do? Conduct an experiment. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, still I think reviewing some of the things we talked about last time. Um, in a consumer research center telephone survey of 427 women, 38% said that they purchased clothing online. Okay, this is just kind of looking at that percentage thing. So what is 38% of 427? 427. How much is it? Okay, 162.26. Okay, to get that, we would do 0.38 times 427. And she got 162.26. Okay. Um, could the result from part A be the actual number of women who said they purchased clothing online? No. Okay. You can't have a fraction of a woman responding to the survey. Okay. So no. All right. What is the actual number of women who said that they purchased clothing online then? Probably 162. Okay, how could we verify that? By what? I guess. Um, or what? Okay, very good. And if you do that, I think it comes up to 0.37 something that's close to 38. And so that's why they said 38%. Okay, so it wasn't exact, it was an estimate. I got 0.37939. Very good. Okay. Any questions about these so far? All right, among the 427 respondents, 30 said that they purchased electronics online. What percentage of the women said that they purchased electronics online? 7%, okay. And how do we get that? Okay, 30 divided by 427, and you got what? 7%, so point zero seven something or 7%. Okay, questions about this? Okay. 
In an ad for the club, a device used to discourage car thefts, it was stated that the club reduces your odds of car theft by 400%. What is wrong with this statement? It's more than 100%, right? What does that mean? You know, when you uh, decrease something by more than 100%, if you decrease it by 100%, then there's nothing, right? So what happens with this other 300%? Okay, so I don't know. We'll call that a misleading percentage or meaningless. How about that? But you see stuff like that all the time, right? Uh, in the one day that we've been here in class, have you become a little more aware of statistics in media or newspaper or, you know, magazines? Okay, it's all around us. And so we need to be able to make sure they're not tricking us.